So we also have now completed a second uh, crew arm in, in Florida. So we've got uh, two towers that are capable of, two launch pads that are capable of sending um, astronauts to, to orbit. Um, and uh, this is going to be great for being able to shift missions between uh, Pad 40 and Pad 39A. Uh, we've got uh, this year our first spacewalk. Um, and uh, so we've got to redesign the, the suit so that uh, you can actually move around in it, and you don't just like, you know, pop out like Because <laughs> <laughs> if you just inflate the suit, you know, you're just basically, you know, you're kind of like one of those, like, uh, balloons at a party or something, you know. Uh, <laughs> so it's, it's quite hard to make the, to still be mobile in an inflated suit. Um, and um, ha have the joints move and stuff. And, and then we, we will actually uh, evacuate the whole spacecraft, so, uh, everyone, even those that don't go on the spacewalk, will still be in vacuum. So, obviously, very important that it work. Um, you know, we don't have like a little hole in the suit or something go flipping around. <laughs> um, so, but I, I think you know, obviously, we're going to put a lot of testing into this, and uh, but this, this is going to be another significant milestone, which is to have a suit where you can be in like the the vacuum of space with just nothing. Nothing at all, and just be out there. It's hard to con it's actually hard to conceive the concept of nothingness, and it's not technically nothing. Like there's a small number of particles per per cubic meter, but uh, it's pretty damn close to nothing. Um, you know, if you if if you lose too much uh, too much air, too too much oxygen, uh, that's it. There's no place to get oxygen from. So, like an airplane, even at high altitude, can uh, increase its, the the uh, the pressurization pumps and get more more atmosphere from because it's in the atmosphere. Dragon springs a, an oxygen leak and that oxygen leak is too significant. There is no place to get oxygen. You're just going to die. So the, re the requirements for getting everything perfect are uh, insane. It's everything's got to be absolutely perfect to work. Um, I mean, we did not, you know. Evolved to live in space, obviously. <laughs> um, so it's, it's a tough one. Um, but this is this is really going to be another great milestone: is to actually be, have be able to have someone floating out there, you know, in the vacuum of space, and come back. Um, and we do want to actually have, we want to have a spacesuit that you can walk around in. Because if you're on the moon, you're on the, you want to be able to walk around on the moon, walk around on Mars. So having a high mobility spacesuit that actually uh, isn't crazy expensive, ideally, uh, and that you can walk around in comfortably is, is a big deal. It's actually an important thing that needs to be developed um, and ultimately made in large numbers. Because if we send, say, a million people to Mars, then uh, that's a million spacesuits or a million Mars suits that you need. So we'll have to make a lot of these things. 